Our next Ladies Home Journal Dazzle Award winner is as talented as she is dazzly. But you welcome one of Charlie's Angels, Farrah Fawcett Major. <laughs> Look at you, Isn't Farrah. Isn't it great? And doesn't her hair look pretty? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think I'll interview her hair today. Now, they said I could take this off when I get out, sure. but I don't know if I want to. Well, if you don't want to. <laughs> Maybe I'll sit, sit in it. Let me describe it. Farrah's wearing a golden sable wraparound by Grosvenor, oh. valued at $25,000. They told me you were giving it to me for being well, on the show. Of course. Well, I have one for you, but it's the terry cloth one. <laughs> and it's... It's $25. Under it, she's wearing Adolfo's evening Adolfo. tunic. Poor <laughs> guy, what's he wearing tonight? <laughs> Adolfo's evening tunic of shimmering Arnell crepe du chaine. $695. Yes. You are a very expensive guest today. Lovely as always, and you're a hit, aren't you, Farrah? Oh, yeah, I think so. Aren't you excited? <laughs> that show is a smash. And good, well done. Yes, a little neat, you know, there's a little room for improvement. But, but you're never supposed to say that. Oh, well, I think it's very good. It's just... A, <laughs> no, it is. But it's anything good. can be better. Yeah, I think it's that way. When you go home and maybe you watch the show, you think, gee, I could have been a little better. Maybe something could have been a little better. And that's good because it shows that you care and you want it to be better. And maybe it will be. <laughs> is it what you've wanted to do all your life? Act. N no. Oh, you didn't want to no, be? No, not when I was a little girl. Only when I came out here, you know, eight years ago and kind of got into it. But I never thought about it much before. But now I'm in it and I love it. Have, you, see, have you seen another job in life that's appealing to you? Well, I majored in art, in history. <laughs> am, in I, am I to take a pick? <laughs> I majored in art history in college. Uh -huh. And um, so that's what I kind of saw myself doing. And I sculpt and I paint, but... Now that I'm in this, there's no time for anything else, and, and I'm glad. Yeah, but you should make nice. time, though, for uh, uh, something away from it all. Do you know that... Otherwise, I'm... it can consume you, you know. When they picked me up to come here... Right. I rushed off the set, just rushing like crazy, to, taking clothes off as I was running out of the dressing room, and got there, the little man said, I'm to take you over, and I said, oh, good. So I got in the back, and I thought, well, I'll think of what I'm going to... And the next thing I knew, we were here. I went completely to sleep. That's how exhausted you are. I mean, there's very little time for anything else. As much as you try to make time and say, well, I'm going to go home and cook a great dinner for Lee, or right. I'm going to do this, I kind of just... <laughs> cook your <laughs> own, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> cook your own. Yeah. Turn on your burner, <laughs> right? And I'm glad the show's a hit, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed those little things yeah. now. Is it tough, though, on a marriage? Well, fortunately, he works as hard as I do, so he's as tired, and he understands because he's in the business. So. But when that door opens at night, you both just look at each other and go. <clears throat> <laughs> well, we hug and we kiss first, and so it's okay. And but you must have weekends. Do you get a day off? No, I haven't had one. You're kidding, no, Farrah. Since the show started, <sighs> that that's what makes it so difficult. We're ready for our hiatus next week, and I can tell everybody on the show's ready for it. You and know, what are you gonna do on your hiatus? I have to shoot some commercials. <laughs> it's about... What's the temperament like on that uh, soundstage? I mean, mm. three magnificent-looking girls, all, I'm sure, quite aware of fashion mm -hmm. and uh, hair and makeup. Well... Lots being written, you know. Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. You mean about... About uh, production being held up while you're trying oh, to decide which know, girl's yes, going to wear this? Time Magazine was there doing... Yeah. Uh, a story on us, and and everybody, they keep wanting to get shots of us with a mirror and us with a brush. I, I think that probably, we don't we do like any female actress does. I mean, makeup and hair people make you more aware of it because they're always saying, no, no, there's a hair out of place. No, 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 do this, do that. You know, personally, I I have lines to think of. I'd rather not be touched before the shot, but they get very aware of that. Or if in the dailies they see a hair across your face, so they tend to make you more aware of it. But I don't, working on the show, to me, is great with the other girls because it's, it takes me back to like when I had roommates in college. 
Where's my brush? You're using my brush. Where's the? You have on. The, I'm wearing this in this. Mm. Shoe. Well, you know, it's it's fun. I mean, there's no hostility, but it's it's like anything. I'm sure that you know when I had roommates that I loved very much. There's always something about somebody that you think, oh, why does she insist upon doing that? Or they think, why does she insist upon? I mean, Kate is so cute. She calls me teeth and hair and and, <laughs> and don't don't put the camera on her teeth when I'm on the. You know, I mean, there are jokes like that, but but it's great. It's a nice rapport, and it, and it I think makes the tensions a little less because you get so burdened down at the end of the day with lines and dialogue and do the scene. It, it's, it's fun to have some I, I just resent Charlie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just doesn't dare show his face. No. No, no. no, no. <laughs> I came out and started in commercials and, and worked and went under contract to a studio, had no formal training. I think what I'm doing right now, I consider my formal training. I mean, what I've learned in... 13 shows is, is so tremendous. I right. thought I couldn't study and learn this much. It's like anything. You watch the cameraman, you learn angles, you watch the light man. You, I've learned things about the camera. It, it's really interesting and while you're saying dialogue and doing that, you're still learning and taking it all in. I, I know so much more now, so I think that's been my fault. Was there training. one thing you've done prior to Charlie's Angels that gave the greatest impetus to your career? Was there one commercial that brought you to the attention of everybody? Or was there one cover of a magazine? Or was it a, a combination of everything you've done? This is what I think, which, which is not always right. You know, my, my agent probably thinks something different. But it all kind of happened where people started focusing on me kind of all at once. You know, there, I did Ultra Bright, and for a while there was the big thing with the T. Right. And people they say, who is that? Oh, you're kind of that. Then all of a sudden when I did Wella and the hair became such a big thing, people started putting it all together. Then when I came out with another commercial or cover, people really started knowing my name. And then it just kind of happened. So I wouldn't say one thing. I would just say in a span a of maybe about four months, it just all clicked. That's you know? why they call you hair I and I was teeth. in the right place at the right time, <laughs> as they say. That's what it all is, yeah. too.